Hello there, you are welcome to another biology lesson and today we will be looking at the topic irritability. irritability. The, objective of, the object, our objectives for this lesson is to help learners define irritability, stimulus and response. Describe taxism, its types and examples. Describe tropism, its types and its examples. Describe nastism and its examples. And we will endeavor to compare and contrast taxism, nastism, and trucking. Now, moving along, we'll be looking at the at the uh, concept irritability. What is it? Irritability is the ability or capacity of an organism to respond to stimulus. It is one of the characteristics of living things or living organisms. Now, stimulus is the change in environmental conditions, while response is the change in behavior of an organism. Plants and animals both respond to stimuli, but animals are faster due to a developed, a well-developed nervous system. Now you can see these are um, some of the stimuli that we get from our environment: light, gravity, temperature, touch, chemicals, water concentration, and water current. Now, if you want to mention um, this particular. Uh, um, this particular um, um, a particular response to light we say photo response to gravity is geo or gravity response to temperature you always have the prefix thermo response to touch you have thigmo response to chemical you see chemo response to water concentration you, you see hydro what um, response to water current you have the prefix um, real now this is very very important you will see it in the slides um, in the next slides now we are going to be looking at the types of responses, the types of responses by plants and animals. First and foremost, we will be looking at the response taxis or taxism. Taxism is a response or movement by a whole organism to directional stimulus. Yes, that is what taxism is or taxis. If the movement is towards the stimulus, then it is a positive response. But if the movement is away from the stimulus in question, the response is what negative and we have various examples of taxism we have phototaxism you remember uh, um, in the previous slide in the previous slide phototaxis is response to light hydrotaxis is response to water chemotaxis is response to chemicals while rheotaxis is response to water current now example the example that we'll be looking at here i um, we'll be looking at the earthworms the uh, they are respond they respond to water and their response to water is called hydrotaxis that is movement in relation to water earthworms usually move towards water so we call this positive hydrotaxis if the movement is away from the stimuli it's called negative while the movement towards the stimuli is positive so earthworm here as you can see in this example uh, they have positive hydrotaxis in other words they move towards water in the case of the pill bug, they have negative phototaxis. In other words, they move away from light. They move away from light. So pill bugs move away from light. That is an example of negative phototaxis. Now looking at the types of taxism, we would also consider um, some of these examples. In phototaxis, there is movement towards or away from the stimulus of light. Example, you see cockroaches move away from bright light. That is negative phototaxis, while long-winged termites move towards light, which is fo positive phototaxis. Now, what we have here is hydrotaxis, another response. Hydrotaxis describes movement towards or away from water or moisture as the stimulus. For example, wood lice and earthworm move towards moisture, while insects move away from moisture. Now, wood lice and earthworm undergo positive hydrotaxis, while the insects undergo negative hydrotaxis. Chemotaxis describes response to chemicals. That is, e.g., ants move towards sugar, which is positive chemotaxis, while housefly move away from insecticide. That is negative chemotaxis. In case of rheotaxis, it describes movement towards or against current of air or water. Example: tilapia swims against water current, which describes negative rheotaxis while birds flow with the wind current in rest flights which is positive 
real taxes so you can see an example of positive real taxes here where we have movement against the current that is salmon mig migrating off upstream while we have negative chemotaxis when an organism responds to a chemical by moving away from it for instance human beings will move away from the smell of skunk and uh, other animals also repel this the smell of skunk so this is this kind of reaction is called negative chemotaxis now moving along we'll be looking at the response tropism now tropism is a response of movement in other words a growth movement shown by parts of a plant to a directional stimulus such as light gravity and so on we have various examples of um, tropism we have phototropism hydrotropism geotropism pigmotropism and chemotropism now we have example of phototropism right here so you can see that this plant right here grows and bends towards you can see that the plant grows and bends towards what light light is the stimulus right here so this is for positive phototropism so you can see that the shoot of this particular plant as it, as it grows it bends towards light in the case of geotropism which is response towards gravity you can see that the roots the root of this particular plant bends towards gravity so it's bent down this is positive geotropism while as you can see the shoot goes away or against gravity this is negative geotropism in the case of the root of this plant the, the root of this plant does not respond like the shoot the shoot undergoes for positive phototropism while the um, this one that is not exposed to light um, undergoes negative phototropism now moving along let's explore the various uh, types of tropism phototropism is response of plants to light as i said earlier in the previous um, slide shoots grow towards light while roots grow away from light in the case of hydrotropism roots grow towards water while the shoot grows away from water these roots undergoes a positive hydrotropism while the shoot undergoes negative hydrotropism in the case of geotropism like we saw in the previous slide it is the response to the pull of gravity roots are positive while shoots are negative to this stimulus now let's look at chemotropism chemotropism describes uh, the stimulus and describe the response towards the stimulus chemicals so roots grows towards deposits of magnesium in the soil while roots also grow away from certain plant hormones in thigmotropism uh, the stimulus in this case is touch yam tendrils are positive to thigmotropism in other words when um, they touch them they respond positively while the roots grow away from stones or rock in the soil which signifies negative thigmotropism as you can see in this um, picture here and you can see the demonstration of hydrotropism as you see the roots move or grow towards water while the shoot grows away from water now finally we are looking at the last response here which is called narcissism this is also called sleeping movement it is a non-directional movement made by part of a plant to a non-directional stimulus such as temperature humidity and light intensity examples we have the folding leaves of mimosa plant when touched or at low humidity as you can see this is the mimosa plant before it is touched you can see how the uh, how the leaves are spread wide but after touch you can see that the leaves come together that is an example of nasty movement opening and closing of petals of morning glory flower when humidity changes is an example another example is opening and closing of flamboyant plants at low humidity these movements are brought about by changes in cell toggle now right here we are showing the differences or comparison between we are comparing between tropism narcissism and taxism now in tropism this particular movement leads to growth or this particular um, response leads to growth whereas in tax in taxism it doesn't lead to growth and in, in narcissism the movement does not lead to growth now in the case of tropism only part of the organism moves while in taxism the whole organism responds or moves whereas in narcissism only part of the organism moves now tropism is a directional response taxism is also a directional response while narcissism is a non-directional response now this has brought us to the end of today's lesson now let's take a quick look at the summary 
Here, irritability is the ability or capacity of an organism to respond to stimulus. Stimulus in the chain is the change in environmental conditions, while response is the change in behavior of an organism as a result of um, stimulus. Examples of stimuli are light, water, chemicals, and so on. While types of responses are taxism, narcissism, and tropism. Now, with this, we've come to the end of today's lessons. Now, before we go, I want to pause this video, attempt to answer all these questions to see how much of the lessons that you have imbibed. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And I will see you again in the next lesson.